Feel clung. Instant Harmony. Instant Harmony also lets you edit the harmonies manually. To move a note, hover over it until you see a double arrow icon, then click and drag. Now I'm going to stop talking so that you can hear the playback. And the other thing to notice is that the cursor will snap to wherever the mouse is, and you can actually drag left and right to scrub through the segment while you're adjusting its pitch, like this. You can also highlight a note, then click on the piano roll to assign it a new value. If you hover over the end of a segment, you'll see this arrow tool appear. Use this to adjust the end of the note. And if you look carefully at the grid behind the notes, you can see that you have guides for the white and black keys, and you can see the measure numbers at the top. Double-clicking a segment activates the Advanced Edit mode. Now there are a lot of controls packed into a small area in Advanced Edit, so where you click is important. The large double arrow in the center lets you move the note up and down, just like we did in Simple Edit. And the double arrow at the left lets you move the note forward and back. The small triangle at the very top of the frame lets you adjust the volume. Watch how the waveform in the background changes size to reflect the change in volume. The small triangle at the very bottom of the frame lets you adjust the drift, and you can see that the changes are reflected in the pitch line. The upper left area lets you adjust fade in. Drag up or down to control the start volume of the fade, and drag the vertical green line left to right to control the length of the fade. Likewise, the upper right area lets you adjust the fade out. Drag up or down to control the end volume of the fade at the end of the note. Drag the vertical red line left or right to control the length of the fade. The lower left and lower right areas let you make similar changes to the beginning and ending transitions. Drag up or down to control the steepness of the transition. And drag the vertical line left or right to control the length of the transition. Finally, the double arrow at the far right controls formant. Drag this control up to create a more feminine sound, and down to create a more masculine sound. The last editing mode is Vibrato Edit. Click here to enter Vibrato Edit mode. You have four controls here. You can drag this vertical line left and right to change the frequency or speed of the vibrato. Click and drag the double arrow at the far right up and down to control the amplitude of the vibrato. To the left, you can change the starting amplitude for the vibrato. And at the very top of the frame is the control to adjust tremolo. Vibrato and tremolo are similar concepts. Vibrato describes changes in pitch, and tremolo describes changes in volume. Be sure to check out our website and the other video tutorials.